Okay, the next solid model I'm going to create is uh, it's, a, it's a bit you know it's not that difficult. It's uh, uh, but it needs a little bit of attention to how to start on this one. This is chapter six. Okay, this is chapter six uh, tutorial tutorial three. Okay, we're gonna go chapter six dash and tutorial three. Okay, and enter. So we're going to activate this here and then we go to extrude placement define placement define front of plane and right right is already selected so we sketch view uh, turn off the datum and then we put this uh, uh, axis here okay and we're going to have a rectangle with a um, maybe symmetrical with respect to uh, with respect to uh, x and y axis, okay, symmetrical, and the dimension is 86. Okay, let's see, 86, enter, and 180. 180, okay, and that's all we need. And the thickness is 25, correct? Right? That's all we need. And we say the thickness is 25, then we're going to extrude it in that direction into this here and that's the 25 okay all right so and um, is that cool all right so there we go then we're going to look at the uh, from this face here we're going to go uh, extrude placement and uh, define we're going to look at this face here and then um, so we're going to look at that and we're going to create a um, uh, a little bit of reference okay we need to put the references. it's not that difficult but we need to put references okay I'm gonna put references and here and here and then in here okay put the reference it doesn't hurt it's good to put references so I know that um, um, I need to have a circle I'm gonna place a circle uh, somewhere here okay uh, with a radius of uh, with a radius of uh, 30 okay with a radius of 30 I'm gonna make that to be 30 units then I need to have a, a, a from this here okay from this core and the center to there should be 45 okay 45 yeah 45 excellent and then this is 70 okay and that's 70 all right it's perfect 70 all right now we're going to go from this corner and tangent to this tangent okay make sure it's tangent and that is a line come on tangent okay let's just put them back again all right so that is tangent already there and now i need to have this tangent at a distance of 90 so if i create a, a line at um, let me see if i go to from here tangent or just pick a point there and then i'm going to go tangent and now i have to dimension that okay i have to dimension i know that the dimension from this point to the top should be 90 okay so the location should be 90 90 okay so that's good that's good I think that's 90 and this is tangent so we're gonna trim this piece here all right so that's what we have and there's a 70 and what else do we do this is 25 70 and do we need to uh, have the we're gonna do the circle later on okay we're gonna do the circle later on and this has to be tangent okay this is it bothering me this one here okay that's tangent and what is 45 it says 45 distance and okay so do we need it okay and this is again tangent so everything is good to go and we're gonna extrude that now okay okay we're gonna extrude it and go back uh, then we need to uh, cover this okay so we have to have a shade remember that we have to have a shade so that means the loop is complete okay so we have that and there's several ways of doing this but this is one method okay 
So we go here and then we're going to um, extrude that in this direction and that should be the total is 55. Uh, 86 okay the total thickness is 86 86 and okay beautiful so look at that okay, okay we created that oh okay one more thing so when we did that I needed to do something mid plane okay let me just have the plane back on let me see if that plane is in the middle is that in the middle yeah okay so we have the plane because we need that plane, that mid plane, okay? That's the mid plane. All right, so there is a reason for that, okay? Because we need to cut, remove some material. And then uh, when I created this here, and that was on the front view, and that shows that that plane is in the middle, right? That's in the middle. So I don't need to create additional plane if we can avoid, okay? We can avoid. So, uh, wonderful. Then we're going to create a hole on this face, right? When I create a hole, so we say uh, extrude placement defined on this face here, sketch, sketch view, uh, sketch view. So we're going to go right click, references. So we're going to define the center, solve, close, circle. And then that circle is going to have a diameter of 30. Okay, that diameter is 30. Okay, great. And now we're going to extrude it all the way through. Okay, we're going to just poke the hole all the way through this material. And again, uh, we go all the way through. And there we go. So you see that? Oh, I need to get this clicked. Okay, all right. So, so it's all the way through. Now we're going to remove the materials in here. So uh, we go to extrude placement define we're going to click on this plane and then we say sketch a sketch view. okay so we're going to create a rectangle okay let me just turn off some of the plane so that we can see that and no shape no hidden so i need to put some references in here okay some references uh let's see where i'm gonna have my references with respect to the center okay center so i'm going to have a right click references center of this let me see and then anything else i think that's about it right all right so that's about it. and then maybe if there's a reference here so this one here okay so we have we have it already so i'm going to go down and then all i need is a center line maybe that goes through there okay all right so that's for symmetric i need that okay if i wanted to create a rectangle and uh, rectangle that is going to be placed maybe i'm going to say symmetrical or no uh, okay let's see if i go to there and then i am going to uh okay uh, let's see uh where is this sketch okay let's go back to sketch all right so this dimension should be 20 okay that's 20 correct right? that's 20 uh 20 and then this one should be uh 60 okay 60 60 and this is 21 it says 21.21, correct? 21.21. Okay, and the total dimension here is 116.74. Doesn't matter, okay? 116.74. Uh, okay, two. all right. Is that good? So all the dimension is set. Let me turn the, um, the shading back on. And you can see that we created that rectangle in the middle. So then we're going to go to a sketch, back to a sketch, and say check. And we wanted to uh, uh, go to both direction. Okay, cut. And then we want to cut in both directions. See that we cut it in both direction, and that's perfect. That's what we needed. And uh, there we go. And then there is a little bit of 
maybe okay next we're going to put a counter board okay a lot of students ask me how to do the counter board and i'm going to show you how to do that okay so we're going to go um, um uh, i'm going to drop a whole tools hole on this space okay i'm going to drop it there's a two handles there's a green handles one green handles goes to this edge okay on that edge and then another green handle let me just turn off the shading so it doesn't so it doesn't interfere uh, okay so that one this dimension is uh, 40 42 so we're gonna go 42 and the other one it should be uh, 40 uh, to this edge should be 43 uh, 43 okay so now we're locating the I don't know what I did with the uh, with the hole okay this is the hole oops all right so let me just look at that and that hole is located right there then I'm gonna go to shape okay shape and then go to a uh, this symbol here called um, uh, use the standard hole profile as drill hole profile and then I'm gonna click on the counter bore hole and then use to the next surface and the information for the uh, yeah information for the um, uh, the hole the bore diameter is 50 Okay, the board diameter is 50, and uh, then the how deep that is is 10. Okay, we have 10 units. That's how deep it is, and then the size of the hole should be uh, 20 as well. Okay, so 20 diameter of 20. So let's just uh, take the shade back on, and if you look at this now, you can see that the counter bore is exactly located in this center of this face and uh, with respect to this okay uh, the reference x-axis and y-axis so from center to this edge is if you could see that it says 43 and from the center to the top edge is 42 and we are happy everything is good to go now there is a little bit of funky type of fillet i see that there is a fillet radius um, it says two location you have a fillet radius of 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 three okay so we're gonna put around one in here on this line okay and that should be three the radius of three okay and then we do the oops around okay and then i'm gonna do the same thing on this side here so do we have another look i think that's it and now we have this one is two as well okay so let me just go and uh, edit okay and I'm gonna do one and here oops okay so let me just see if I can find that okay excellent so then we check it now we got all the rounds see that there's a round there's extrude one extrude two extrude three extrude four hole we use the hole tools to create the counter bore and then this is a round we did it last okay so if you look at this it looks fantastic and that uh, we can uh, maybe render it a little bit here the blue maybe uh, blue and then we got the red uh, i think i i like this color okay and this is control we go that space also okay and then we have the top maybe the top surface here and then control so you can see that and then um, maybe and this here I'm gonna put the yellow whatever that color right okay so it looks good okay so this is the end of chapter 6 uh, tutorial 3